Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyr Town. I hope your day is going wonderfully. And today, well, this episode, we are getting married to Sherry. Now, let's see. But that's not going to be for a few days yet. And, uh, by the way, just for the, for the record, uh, I was, in fact, correct in the fact that I was wrong, as far as the pineapples go. As long as tomorrow is not raining, we will have a pineapple harvest. If it is raining, I don't know. I didn't actually test that. In previous Harvest Moon games, rain was pretty much always a positive. You get your crops watered for you, and, well, that's about it. It was also easier to find people because they would most often be in their homes when it was raining. In Grand Bazaar, however, there is a downside to rain, and that is that you can't water your crops a second time. That all-day rain only counts as a single watering. And so... It can slow down the growth of certain crops, and in some cases, it can make you miss out on a harvest. Whether or not that would be the case here, well, we'd have to see. Because, like I said, I didn't test it. I tested it with two days of one water each, and two days of two waters each, and... Sure enough, with the double watering, there was another pineapple harvest. Unfortunately, uh, with the single watering, there wasn't. So, can't really say one way or the other if rain tomorrow will screw us up or not. Golden eggs do seem to be a lot more rare than I remember them being. But... Once you hit year three, then really there isn't a whole lot of purpose to having more than maybe one chicken. Uh, there are a few recipes that require regular eggs rather than black eggs or golden eggs. And so, even then though, you really should be entering the festivals, the, the chicken festival with your silkies because they are more likely to produce the golden eggs that you want. So as I said, we are marrying Cherry this episode. However, that's not until the 31st. On the 30th, I think, is Nellie's birthday? I hope it's not today. Might have messed up there a little bit, but... Oh well. Also, I didn't bring the gifts for the day. Hmm. And my, was my brain all over the place last stream or what? Are many people out this early? Oh wait, no, I did. Apparently, my brain is not all there today. And it was all there... ...when I was recording the last episode. Well... Silly me. Even though the uh, horse festival, the horse race, is over and it's not going to be coming back for another year, we are going to want to... Oh. Hey, Jerry. Good morning, Ray. Let's make today a good one. We are going to want to be taking our horse there um, because we want to gain friendship with it very quickly. Because the higher its friendship, the faster it runs. And that will help us get through the day a little bit faster. It will also increase its training points, which will in turn increase how fast it gains friendship. Well, how about that? A new high score! I did look it up, by the way. You get 200 friendship points with your horse for winning... Uh, for getting second place in the, uh, in the horse race. So we went up two hearts from that alone. Is why we were two hearts higher than when I had last checked. You get 100 for third, 200 for second, and 300 for first, although, well, I guess by the time you can get first, that'll probably max you out at friendship. If you're not already maxed out. 
and go ahead and have some sushi outside with our green tea. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you, Joan. Another gold! The gold is coming back! Is this gonna be another case of every episode a new gold? I don't know. But we can definitely use it, because once we expand the bazaar to 75%, we are going to need quite a lot of gold for the jewelry we'll, we're going to be making. The radishes are done, and the corn is done. And the only thing that we need to water today are the pineapples. Oolong and green, and yes, I have both of them. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I will leave. I will get my onion soup. And on the way, we can go ahead and give Nellie her birthday gift, which is corn soup. Hey, Lori. It must be nice to be young and full of energy. Hello there, Ray. Eh? Are you eating well? Nice wrapping paper. I wonder what's inside. A birthday gift? Thank you very much. Never forget a birthday. Yes, thank you. Purple brush foot. Keep it in cage. Oh, Sherry. Wow, I really like this. Thank you. I know you do. Parkour horse here. Have ourselves some soup and green tea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, okay. I need to, uh, be right back. I don't remember whether tree seeds produce one or two seeds per process. But I guess we're gonna find out. They do indeed produce two. We can go ahead and sell that other one, or we can hang on to it for a little bit just in case I mess up, which, well, you know, I do have my doubts that I won't mess up. So I have mentioned this previously, I think, but the plan is for this area right here, these four tree spots, to be for summer trees, these two for spring, these four for fall, and these two can be for tea. And... Since peach is a summer tea, a summer tree, didn't need to uh, hammer or not hammer. I didn't need to hoe all of that, but there was also no downside to hoeing all of that. Uh, sure. We will use the peasant fertilizer because at least it is better than the store-bought stuff. And this... These tea bushes may or may not produce tomorrow, but we'll see. And then... this down. And there you go. That is how you get rid of an old tree. I'm glad to be with you all on this beautiful day. In place of the mayor, I, Stuart, will be handling the proceedings. Ray, do you take Sherry as your wife to love forever? Apparently whistling counts as a yes. And Sherry, do you take Ray as your husband to love forever? 
I do. Wonderful. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Thank you for making me so happy, Ray. And then the credits roll. And that's it. Game's over. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. Of course, I'm lying, okay? That's not, that's not actually how that works. And it's not over. Oh, this is so wonderful. Do you want me to start calling you by a nickname? So this is something that a lot of the ranch story games do. I don't know if it's every single ranch story game, but I'm pretty sure it's every one that I've played. It gives you the option of having you pick out a nickname for your wife to call you, or you could just not do anything and have them call you by your name. I thought it would be really cool though. I think, it, well, I think it would be really cool if each of the bachelorettes and each of the bachelors had their own nickname for you, right? Like after you get married, like Sherry will call you one thing, whereas Antoinette will, would call you something else. And that could just add just a little bit to their characters, but uh, whatever. We're gonna go with the classic, of course, honey. Do you want me to call you honey? You're sure? Also, it's kind of weird that, like, it's you that's deciding who, whatever, okay. Today is the start of our new life, honey. Aww. It's time to start a new life together. Which I guess is why the credits roll at the, at the wedding, that makes sense. Oh. Today is the last day of the month. Most crops will die if they aren't harvested. Yes, and our pineapples. We'll be all ready to go to harvest. All right. Listen, I'm sorry about all the pets. I need them. You're such a good husband, honey. I mean, it's we've been married for like 15 minutes. That you always make me smile. Well, I know it's not your favorite flower, but. Uh, It's, it's the only one that grows in summer, so... So as you can see, as promised, our pineapples are ready for harvest. How far did we get? Three and a half stars. Which, uh, isn't bad, right? Is it... I think it might be the same star level as... No, we did manage to gain one extra half star. Well, isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? All right. Um, and I believe I did bring the scythe so that I can scythe all this stuff down. Or the sickle, rather. No, it's a scythe. Because a sickle has a shorter handle and more of a C-shaped curve. No wonder they switched to X seed. Who can take this game seriously when they call the side the sickle? It's awful. Hey, what do you know? Some are tea leaves. One last harvest of them. Today's a good day. M mostly because the whole marriage thing, not like because extra tea and pineapples and all that kind of stuff. So it's a three win day, but you know, still nice to uh, get that going. Cause these wheat seeds taken forever in a day. Those radish seeds are also taking a while and I do want to get some co the corn seeds started and the all that kind of stuff. Hey. Hey, yeah. hey. A ringed butterfly. Nice. We're gonna give that to Sherry tomorrow. Oh, that's right. We wanted to get the, uh... I didn't mention it. I want to get the, uh... 
the watering can started on its upgrade process. Since we aren't going to need it until tomorrow. Eight hours until the watering can is done, which, I mean, we can collect it tonight. We could probably start it after we collect it. Is that worth it? Probably. Just because we aren't really going to be able to water the crops right away tomorrow. We're probably going to have to settle for one watering for tomorrow. But this town has lots of nature surrounding it. I like that, I think. Yeah. In that case, welcome to Zappa Cafe. Nothing that I don't already have. So, I will just take some tea. And hopefully not spill it this time. Mmm. Delicious. Huzzah, I didn't spill it. And actually, I forgot to feed our horsey. Work hard, but be careful, okay? I really don't want you to get hurt. Ah, don't worry. I am basically immortal. I mean, do you ha no, have any idea how many times I jumped into that freezing winter in blizzards? I don't know. Something about Dracula's castle. Must have done something to me. In a lot of ranch story games, once you're married, you're kind of bombarded by a whole bunch of rival heart events that doesn't actually happen in Grand Bazaar. Uh, the fact that you're married is irrelevant to whether or not rival heart events show up. So you actually need to decrease your friendship, or well, if you've gotten a friendship with the other bachelorettes, or bachelors, depending on whether you're playing Hansel or Gretel, um, you act. We're actually. We'd actually need to decrease our friendship with the uh, with the other bachelorettes before we see the rival heart events. And uh, the rival bachelors will never marry the bachelorettes. So, also something to consider. And that's whether or not you see the heart events. There is no marriage for the rival couples. In this game. You ready for bed? I always dreamed of a life like this. Honey, living with you makes me so happy. Oh. Well, anyway, that's gonna be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope the rest of your day is a good one. And I guess I will see you later. Bye.